So uh, today, well, you already know what I what I'm going to be reviewing because you saw the picture. So, anyways, uh, thanks for joining me again on another fun adventure where we not only talk about the figure that we uh, are are looking at today, but yeah, we we talk about other things as well. Uh, sometimes we'll see we'll see where we go so uh as i mentioned in my last video when i unboxed and reviewed mephitor here i said hey i forgot i've got stinkor that i have never unboxed so we are going to unbox stinkor today and uh do a little review and in that box i found hey i've got some of the, a lot of the first wave stuff like uh fisto because i never got classics fisto i never got classic stinkor so yeah, I never unbox a lot of that stuff. You know, life gets busy. And we are heading into our busy season here. Lots of uh, lots of garden work, yard work, cleanup from the winter. Uh, so yeah, it, could, it definitely gets a little, a little crazy around here in the summer. Spring and summer. So yeah, uh, I, I like to be bringing you folks at least two to three videos a week. That's my goal, that's my objective. So make that possible, please, if you could, like, share, subscribe. It keeps me motivated. And also visit the Etsy store. You know, make a purchase there. Uh, that also helps motivate and helps make it so I don't have to get a second job. So <laughs> if you could uh, do that, that would be super cool. It's really appreciated. But without further ado, let's uh, let's take a look at Stinkcore. Box is a little ripped. Not a huge deal. Let's take a look here. I was... I think the way they did him in Master of the Universe was pretty cool that they actually had him in there in the newer one. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah, I got Fisto. Got that. Got that. Uh, I haven't done unboxing videos for any of those, actually. They're, well, I did for the the special edition Scareglow, which is pretty cool. And then I've got another Scareglow still sitting in the package. But, yeah. Anyways, without further ado, let's check it out. What's that smell? Evil Master of Odors. I mean, how would you like that job? Anyways. Uh, what's that smell? If it's overpowering enough to overwhelm a steaming pile of garbage, that can only mean one thing. Stinkor. Ever the outcast, the rancid wretch disappeared from Skeletor's side, only to be found hoarding ancient artifacts in his putrid pig pen of a hideout. Emitting odors foul enough to bring any hero to their knees, never underestimate the savage stench of Stinkor. And, uh, yeah, I think, didn't they have, like, masks with them already? Which, I, you know, I thought it kind of lame if not everybody carries around a gas mask. I mean, maybe in the age of COVID, everybody had those cloth masks, but they're going to do anything for the smell of absolute skunk. Trust me, I've had them in my yard. I, I know. N95 also does nothing for the stench of skunk. I mean, it, it's pretty bad. So, uh, we're going to look at him. We're going to compare him to uh, Mephitor, because I think that's a cool way to go. Check it out. So, first... His shield, standard shield here, right? And the thing we liked about Mephitor's shield is you can see it, even from this far back, you can see the two-tone. The rivets are slightly more metallic looking. Uh, that would have been cool to get here, but we did not. Again, they, they don't really do a lot of paint apps on these. I think at the price point they could, but maybe I'm wrong. I, I, I'm not in the business, so I don't know what they cost. I don't know what it costs to produce, mass produce. Um, well, yeah, I think because they're staying in like the $20, $25 price point where Mythics are usually, what are they at now, the 27 to 30 ow, that hurt, $35 price point, depending, or even higher on some, you know, like the special figures. Oh, uh, karate hands. What do you call it? Knife hands. This face, he looks kind of bored. This face, he looks angry. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, uh, break out the knife. Which do I prefer, twist ties or these? I think twist ties, honestly. That is easier to go. I think that's a cool one. That's so loud. Uh, I'm not going to break out the other hands right now because I largely don't care. But let's break out the other head so we can take a look at it. That's on there pretty good. Oh, it comes off. Sweet. That's actually pretty cool. So that comes off. You see that? Let's look. Yeah, so that comes off. 
Uh, but it has, oh, there's a little hole in his mouth. You can't, I don't know if you can see it on camera real well. It's hidden because of the teeth. So that's, that's actually well done. Then you get that little nub there that fits in there. Then voila, you have Stinkor with a gas mask. That's pretty cool. That's well done. So they, they do a little bit of gimmicky stuff in these. And that's pretty cool. Uh, good colors, right? Good Stinkor colors. And let's check him out. Uh, he's like all twisted up here from being in that packaging. And yeah, and he shares his toes with Skeletor. Oh, you know what? Let's bring that down. Now, I find my reviews of the Masterverse figures tend to be a little shorter because there's not quite as much to talk about, right? There's not like a lot of killer paint apps making this look super cool like a legions figure uh but again if you're a master universe collector they're not bad honestly for what they are would i like to see some more paint depths yeah but they they do an okay job with these again for the price point i think if they if they did the paint apps even if they bumped them up like five bucks a pop i think people would be a little more inclined to purchase them but maybe not i mean they, they, they know what they're doing they're in the business. I'm not. So, anyways, articulation. Yeah, standard stuff. You know, his head turns, uh, waist turns. You get an ab crunch. Yeah, he's got a little bit of ab crunch there. And we've got shoulders. The joints are, like, I'll say one thing. I like their shoulders a little better than the Mythic's shoulders because the Mythic's shoulders are so stiff. Uh, elbow, they got the double elbow which I never knew how much I liked the double elbow. I didn't know what the big deal was until I started seeing it. And I kind of wish Mythics would, would employ something like it because you can really get that up there a little tighter, which is cool. Always good to have. Uh, this hand is going to get swapped out for the fisty hand. Not the fisty hand, the, uh, the grab hand. I think there's... Is there? Yeah, there's a grab hand and a knife hand, which I don't see myself using the knife hand too much. I think I'm going to stick with this face because it looks a little meaner. Uh, but then, of course, we have got, you know, your rotation in the hips. That's good. Like, you'll spin all the way around, but uh, you don't need to. And then you got your thigh rotation. You've got your double knees, which I don't... I've never found double knees to be quite that necessary. I don't know. To get them in the... What do you think? Double elbows? Yes. Double knees? I don't. I don't think is all that that necessary personally but it looks cool because it gives him a kneecap so in that sense yeah Let's see if we can get him the stand that's the trick sometimes giving him the stand is is a trick i don't know why okay for all your standard articulation the paint apps are nothing to write home about because there really aren't any uh, there might be a little bit here on his loincloth, but overall he's very much what you see is what you get. There's nothing that I'm pointing to and going, oh my gosh, that's that's a cool little thing they thought of, other than that gimmick there. That was pretty good. Uh, I'll give them props on that. But there's nothing else that I'm going to point to that I can see and be like, oh wow, so cool. Um, this, not bad. Again, this was uh, their first gen of the... Uh, of the Masterverse line. And I, I do feel it has gotten better. Right? They've done some pretty cool stuff. Maybe I will use the knife hand so I can use the shield a little easier. But for comparison's sake, let's say, all right, we got this guy. We want to compare him to, say, uh, Mephitor. Uh, bring him over. So they did a great job. I right? got the orange, uh, which doesn't match up perfectly with that orange, but I think I like this orange better. Anyways, uh, the loincloth, the loincloth, they kept orange instead of this red. They got the red belt. Uh, we got a little bit of under armor there, which is cool. And, you know, they got the eyes. There's still a yellow. Again, it's an homage figure. It's not, it's, an, it's not meant to be an exact copy. And again, his boots are orange, not red. But they got the gloves right it's enough to say, hey, yeah, I know who that is. But not so much that feels like they're completely ripping off the figure. You know what I mean? So 
so and he's about three feet shorter so you're like could be a could be his kid there we go actually that's a good idea I like that except they do look like they're sort of like from different universes as it were and why can't I get this to stand I think double knees are actually kind of more of a pain in the butt than anything okay oh, that's not right that's not right that's not right uh. What am I missing? Again, sometimes you're doing stuff on camera and it's, it's a little more difficult on camera. I don't know why. Again, you don't want his knees completely locked because nobody stands like that. It's probably a little hard because you get the fabric on the table here. Oh my gosh, why? I feel like I'm an idiot today. I just can't get this. It only really tells you where the, I mean, well, I guess where the front is there. It's like, he feels like he's just too something something. I don't know what the deal is. All right, okay, off camera here a little bit. That's better. That's better. So I was having trouble with the uh, the foot articulation. It just wasn't doing what I needed it to do. But getting a little off camera. And that's a little less horrible. There we go. A little less horrible. So overall, uh, again, pros looks like Stinkor. Stinkor is a cool figure. Uh, he doesn't smell. Not like the old version that they mixed in like what? What was it? I forget the smell. But they mixed the smell into the plastic, so he smells you know for about a billion years. Uh, nothing really to write home about. He's a Stinkor figure. He looks like Stinkor. Uh, doesn't smell like Stinkor. You, know, you get the little cool gimmick with the head. He's got his shield, no gun or anything like that. He doesn't need a gun because he stinks. Um, but the figure itself doesn't stink. It's just nothing like, oh, wow, I'm so excited to have that figure. Uh, probably why I never got around to unboxing. I could tell that from in the box. But he's got, you know, he's not, he's not like Trap Draw. Like Trap Draw was great. Uh, let's think about Thinking back, you know, the Ram Man recently was pretty good. And Snout Spout, also pretty cool. This one, yeah, he's okay. He's Stinkor. But again, I was never... Oh, I think I mentioned this in the Mephitor video. I never... I don't think I ever had Stinkor until later. He was never one of my, you know... Not hitting a huge nostalgia button for me. Don't get me wrong, he's cool and all. But, uh... So, uh, would I add him to my collection? Well, especially now, where he's probably, I mean, I think he's still out there. I don't know, because he's probably like a year or two old. I think he's still out there. And if you do find him, he's probably cheap. Right, so would I add him? Yeah, sure. If you're a completionist and you want to have, like, all the all the bad guys, all the good guys, I'd definitely add him to my collection. Especially if you can get him on the cheap. But, yeah, appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate you... Uh, liking, sharing, subscribing, visiting the Etsy store, and uh, leave a comment down below what you, what kind of things you'd like to see, you know, videos going forward. I still want to get some more game videos. Uh, I, I haven't had a chance to play that Masters of the Universe game yet, and it looks super fun, but I really want to play. And I just, I mean, between winter storm, flu, and life lately, I just haven't had time to do anything. Uh, but looking to do stuff again. But yeah, again, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. See ya.